Hi, I'm Elena Mangum, the Literacy and Learning Specialist at the Center for Development and Learning. Today's K-3 mini literacy lesson is the final V sound. The Center for Development and Learning is a premier thought leader in Louisiana with over 25 years of experience in education. We also hold a national literacy conference called Plain Talk. Our mission is to improve the life chances of all children, especially those at high risk, and increasing school success. Our purpose is to achieve equity in education and close the opportunity gap for high-risk youth. And we believe that children, regardless of how they look, where they come from, how they learn, can and will achieve school success when provided with highly effective teachers and positive supportive learning environments. We really focus in on empowering educators, policymakers, any stakeholders on the science behind reading. So how do I spell the final V sound? When a word has a final V sound, the word will always end with the letters V, E. So look at the example below, wave. I used to tell my first graders to put their elbows together to make it look like they were making the letter V. And if they tilted one way or the other, their letter, their arms would fall. So we don't wanna let that V fall over. So if your word ends in the sound V, you're going to use the letters V, E. Let's practice some words. I'm gonna say the word and you're going to repeat it. The word is glove. Your turn, say the word glove. Let's count how many sounds by tapping it out. G -l -a -v. Now let's move our sounds. G -l -a -v. Every sound that we tapped out, now we can write the letter, the grapheme. Add g -l -a -v. But we know if the word ends with a V and you hear the V sound at the end of the word, you have to add the letter E. Our next word is drive. Your turn. Say the word drive. Let's tap it out. I -v. Let's map it. R -I -v. Now we can write the word. Every sound that we hear, we're going to write the word. D -r -i -v. Remember what should be added at the end of the word when we hear the v sound. That's right a letter E. We don't want that letter V to fall over. Let's look at our last example. The word is five. Your turn. Can you say the word five? Let's tap it out. I -v. Let's map it. I -v. And let's work on spelling it. What was our first sound we heard? That's right. Our second sound, our middle sound, I, and our final sound, V. Hmm, we talked about this. If we hear a final V, what letter has to come at the end? We don't want that V to fall over. That's right, a letter E. So let's recap and make sure we know that if we see a letter V at the end of the word, and it ends with the V sound, we know we're going to add the letter E. But did you also know that there are no English words that end in the letters J, L, U, or V? Thanks for tuning in today, and let's stay connected. Email me with any questions or topics we'd like to learn more about. You can reach me, elena at cdl.org.